guys. I'm Mrs. Johnson and Mrs. Gorby's with us today. We're going to be doing the mask lab together. The purpose of our lab today is to um, determine the three characteristics of a quality mask and how a mask protects us. The first mask that we're going to do is our school mask. So on your paper you see it says does it show light. So we're going to hold up the mask to the light and see if you can see light rays coming through or little speckle holes in the fabric and I do see light coming through the fabric on this one. It's two layers and then we're going to do the third test which is whether or not it blows out the candle. So a mask should be tight fitting on your face, no gaps so that there's a seal around your mouth and your nose. And if it is a high quality mask, it should not blow out the candle. All right, I had to do two breaths. Okay, next I'm gonna demonstrate the um, handkerchief. When I hold it up to the light, I can see the light rays um, shining through. I have it folded so it has two layers. And now we're going to see what happens when I blow on the candle. Hi, I'm Mrs. Gorby, and the next mask that we will be demonstrating is the paper mask. We're going to hold it up to the light and see if the rays shine through, and they do. And next is that this particular mask is made of three layers stitched together. And the next thing we're going to do is see if it is capable, if I'm capable of blowing out the candle. The next mask that I will be demonstrating is the KN95 mask. When I hold it up to the light, I cannot see the light coming through except for the particular holes here. Okay, it is made of multiple layers that is stitched together. This is a blue store-bought mask that has a metal clip in the nose. I cannot see light coming through the material and it is two, two layers. There's an inside white layer and then the blue. The next mask is a cloth mask. I can see light coming through. It's two layers. There's a white layer and a and this layer. And the candle goes out. All right, so we've noticed that a couple of our masks are not sufficient and the candle blows out. So how do we fix that? So this is a two layer mask. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna pull up just the second layer, not the first layer, you have to really pull it apart there. And then get your scissors in there and then you're gonna snip a little hole across the inside second layer. So then when you open it up, you've got a place to put a filter. So the filter, you're gonna take your paper towel piece, I don't know, take a paper towel piece measure it up with your um, mask, cut around it, and then you'll have a piece that looks like this. And then you just slide your filter inside the two layers, so then it'll be three layer mask. And then smooth it out in there so it's not all bunched up. And then you do the test again. Can you see light through it? No. How many layers? Three. And then we're going to relight our candle. 
And then we're going to see if we can blow the candle out with the three layers. Remember, when it was two layers, we could. All right. I'm blowing very, very hard. It flickers a bit, but it doesn't go out. All right, extra credit assignment. I want you to test your masks at home. Get yourself a candle, light it, put your mask on, see if it blows out the candle. If it does, you can modify your mask with paper towel and scissors. Um, do this with your family. Upload a picture of you and your mask and a candle into the discussion post. Have a good day.